Hi everybody, it's Nadia over and I'm bringing to you a foundation wear test. So, I am testing out the Revolution Conceal and Define from Makeup Revolution. And this is what it looks like, guys. It comes in 24 shades, it's around £10 and the colour shades on there are not brilliant um they have got a color chart that i went off um i'm yellow toned and i wanted quite a pale toned one um so i got the 6.5 but this is too even too light for me i uh, was not impressed by that uh i think they should make it a little bit more clearer on the instructions of the chart that they actually put on their website so the claims on this is that it dries down to a demi matte finish <laughs> somebody in the house you think it's a cat this won't settle into fine lines it also won't cling to dry patches so i thought on my oily skin I would actually give this a full let's see if you really are what you say you are I've tested a few of the revolutions foundations and I've not liked many of them so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation and I will be back with an update on it to start off with I'm going in with my primer um, and this is the Illamasqua one I always use a primer so for me it makes it more of a true test um, I can understand if you don't use a primer to test out foundations then it doesn't make sense some people don't wear primers but I do I like my primer and this will give me a true test on my oily skin then I'm going to take my number seven for beautiful skin dark circles and I'm just putting this on under my eyes spread it around is what I'm trying to say I can't think of a word so then I'm taking the skin illuminator from number seven and this is what it looks like guys and I'm just going to put this on underneath she says as it squirts out everywhere so that's all nicely sunken into my skin uh, and I'm going to colour correct before I go in with the concealer because obviously you want to colour correct before you know I have got discoloration uh, so and this is the Kiko one guys my cat's trying to play silly buggers aren't you she's like i'm just gonna walk past you while you're doing something hey yeah you know we all like tails in our faces so i'm gonna have his all over me now mia so this is the one in f 6.5 and we'll see how it goes it's a nice clean one so I've never tried it before don't even know if this is gonna colour match me or not I think I put too much on now I am going in with this real techniques and I'm just gonna buff it out um, and see this is definitely too light but how many foundations have I got that are too light let me put my headband on because that always helps, don't it? But I'm just buffing this into my skin and hope it oxidises a little. That'd be nice. So I did look at the colour chart that they've got and I thought this would be the right colour and it's not. So for me, as of what I started off with, I would actually put this as a medium coverage. As you can see, you can see all my freckles. 
and my marks and the pinkness on my face so not so much my pores so i would definitely say this is medium to put a little bit more on the places that i feel that i need it they've done the color matching i just think it's a bit doolally myself So my pores are no bigger than they normally are, um, it's blended in nicely into my skin, uh, it has settled into my fine lines, uh, especially around the mouth area and my forehead, not so impressed with that, but with that extra layer I would now say I'm at actually put it probably medium to high i would still wouldn't say this is high it's still got a, you can see like i've got some purple marks here guys and you can still see them i spend it into my face and i'm going to conceal with my number seven instant radiance So I'm just going to push this into my skin. Foundation looks really nice. Like I said, it's, it keeps settling to these fine lines here. So maybe if I powder it down, it would look better. So I'm going to do that bit on camera. And then I'm going to go off and... Um, do the rest of my makeup looks really nice a lot better than it normally does so i'm just taking my laura mercier for what i've got under my eyes and over my face so i'm really buffeting so i know for the, this will help it so so it's still in the fine lines here but it's not as bad so guys i'll be back when i'm actually ready I've got a face on and i'll see you soon so guys this is the finished look that i did and as it's standing right now it hasn't changed and it's about half hour it's taken me to get ready so yeah and i'm loving this look and so far the foundation um it's still in my fine lines but not not in my fine lines should i say in the like lines that i've got so but as of now i've got gorgeous looking pores and so i will be back uh, in a bit and let you know how it's getting on so guys i've been out so this has been on for about five six hours and i am i'm not shocked but i am shocked as you saw in it they it went straight into my fine lines although they're not fine lines they are actual lines you know don't get botox or anything like that so it settles in my lines i'm going to have a close look now to see my lipstick's not very straight it's gone a little bit off my chin but it's not and off my nose and round my nose it's not gone on my forehead it's not entered any more lines that it didn't already originally enter because it did enter the lines uh, i must admit i've i am roasting i've literally just walked in the door and i thought i'd come straight to you guys because you know what i'm like i'm gonna go to sleep now but for the six hours where i don't think this is bad uh, it's not brilliant i would like to probably use if anything a different i would like to try it with the 3b face saver 
I tried it with the Ila mascot and I don't think it's quite there. And also the Revlon Photo Ready. I think if I use this for my pore areas, because you can see when you're this close to me, you can see my pores. But you can anyway. Uh, so for me, I think if I use this and this on like my forehead and my chin, I think this is a really nice foundation for six hours of me wearing it. I'm going to draw you guys in so you can see what I mean. So, as you can see, the crack in my smile lines, it's gone around my nose. Not so much on my chin. My forehead, it's, it's there. Uh, my pores are not as emphasised. They're there, but they're not as emphasised as what. And... It's gone slightly off my nose. But guys, I can live with this. I really can. It looks stunning. It really does. This is the best revolution one I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot. And I didn't get the full coverage to start off with. And I don't know where they're getting that from. Mine's definitely medium. But anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new to this channel then don't forget hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next one bye